Hello and welcome to the video. This is Matthew and we're looking at question 4 from the Junior Cycle Higher Level Sample Exam Paper 2021. This is mainly a coordinate geometry question but we're also asked to do some transformations at the end. It's a difficult one but hopefully with my help you will be able to understand and answer the question. So let's get straight into it. So question four shows us a coordinate diagram with the triangle ABC, with the point A having the coordinates for two, and uh, it also shows us the points B and C. So now let's have a look at part A of the question. So we're asked to write down the coordinates of the point B and the point C. So first of all, the point B, very simple, it starts with the X value and then the Y value. So the X value is eight and the Y value is zero. So now let's have a look at the point C. So the point C, so the X value is 10 and the Y value is four. So the coordinate is 10, four. So that's runs for part A, very simple. And I expect that uh, you would have been able to get that fairly uh, simply. So now let's have a look at part B of the question. So uh, it shows us the equations of the lines uh, AC and AB. And now we have to work out the value of M and the value of K. So we'll start with the line AC. And we're given the equation y is equal to mx plus 2 over 3 and we have to work out m. Now for anyone who um, knows, recognizes that equation, it's in the form y is equal to mx plus c. And when an equation is in that form, the m stands for the slope. So if we work out the slope of the line ac, then we'll get the value of m. So we have a formula for the slope of the line. And you may be able to recall this off by heart, but if not, it is in the formula and tables book on page 18. And uh, this is the formula here for the slope of a line. So we'll have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So x1, y1 will be a coordinate and x2, y2 will be the other coordinate. So we have the coordinates of b and c from part a and the coordinates of a are also given in the question as 4, 2. So we have to label now uh, x1, x2, y1 and y2. So it's the line ac. So we're going to label 4 as x1, 2 as y1, 10 as x2 and 4 as y2. So as I said, so it's y2 minus y1, so 4 minus 2 over x2 minus x1, which is 10 minus 4, which is the same thing as minus 2 over 6 or minus 1 over 3. So our answer for m is minus 1 over 3 as the slope is minus 1 over 3. And uh, the slope will be just equal to m when the equation of a, of a line is written in that form. So now we're going to look at uh, the line AB and we're given the equation y is equal to minus a half x plus k. So uh, for this one, you can actually do it two ways. So um, again, when you have an equation written in the form y is equal to mx plus c, which this is, now we have the value of m here, and then c is just k. Uh, the c value is actually where it crosses the y-axis. So we can get the y-intersection by the graph, just drawing, continuing the line on. So, you know, we have our line a, b. If we continue this on to see where it crosses the y-axis, then we'll be able to work out uh, the value of k. Or we can just work out the equation by the uh, formula in the formula and tables book. And that's the way that I'm going to do uh, this question. So we already have our m. m is equal to minus a half. That's already given in this equation. So, you know, y is equal to mx plus c. And our m here uh, in this is minus a half. So now we have to get our point and the line a, b. So it can be either point a or b. I'm just going to pick the point b. But if you want to pick a, you can pick a. It makes no difference. So now let's have a look at the formula and tables book to see the formula for the equation of a line. Again, it's on the same page, page 18. And it's this formula right here y minus y1 is equal to m times by x minus x1. So we have our m and then x1, y1 is the is a coordinate um, along the line. It has to be on the line, which b is, which is the coordinate that we picked. So now we're going to pop these into the equation and then we work out what k is. So our x1 is obviously 8 and our uh, y1 is 0. So we have y minus y1, so y minus 0 is equal to m, which is minus a half, times by x minus x1, which is 8, so x minus 8. Now y minus 0 is just y, and then uh, that's equal to, so minus a half times x is just minus a half x. Then minus a half times a minus 8 is plus 4. So be careful there, it's a negative times by a negative, so the uh, result will be positive, so it's plus 4. So there we have our equation, y is equal to minus a half x plus 4. So therefore, our answer is k is equal to 4. And we have got our answer there for part b of the question. So now let's have a look at part c. So we have to show that the area of the triangle ABC is 10 square units. Now we know that this triangle and when we have a triangle, we can work out the area by getting half the base times by the perpendicular height. 
So let's go about our diagram and have a look to work out the base and the height to see which side of the triangle is the base and which is the height. So we're going to say that the line uh, AB is the base and then the line BC is the height. So uh, remember, it's the perpendicular height, which means that there must be 90 degrees, um, you know, between the line and between the base. And there is here, uh, which we can see. So that means that uh, we could pick, we could have picked AB as the height and then BC as the base. But as long as one of them is the base and the other is the height, then you'll get the same answer. So we're picking AB as the base and then BC as the height. But as I said, you can uh, swap those around and it will, it will have no effect at all on the answer. So now we just need to work out uh, the formula for the uh, distance between two points. Again, this is in our formula and table book on page 18, and it's this formula right here. So the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So we just need to work out our x1, x2, y1, and y2. Pop those into the uh, formula, and then we'll get the distance between the two points. So we have uh, the coordinate a is 4, 2, b is uh, 8, 0. And then C is 10, 4. So we have the formula. We have our points. So now, as I said, the base is going to be uh, AB. So let's write that above it. And then the height is going to be BC. So now the first thing we have to do is to get the, the distance between AB with the formula that I uh, showed you in the formula and tables book. So the first thing now we have to do is to get the distance between A and B. So we're going to label our points X1, X2, Y1, and Y2. So X1 is 4. Y1 is 2. X2 is 8. And y2 is 0. So now it's uh, the distance between a, b is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1, which is at 8 minus 4, squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, so 0 minus 2 squared. So that's equal to the square root of uh, 4 squared plus minus 2 squared. So 4 squared is 16 plus um, minus 2 squared, which is 4. So the square root of uh, 16 plus 4 which is the square root of 20. So now it's going to be the same thing, but the distance between B and C this time. We do need a new x1, y1, and x2, y2. So this time our x1 is going to be 8, or, and, or y1 is going to be 0, and our x2 is 10, y2 is 4. So now we have the square root of, again, x2 minus x1, which is 10 minus 8 squared plus y2 minus y1, which is 4 minus 0 squared. So then we get the square root of, so 10 minus 8 is 2, so the square root of 2 squared plus 4 minus 0, which is just 4 squared. So uh, 2 squared is 4, and 4 squared is 16. And again, 4 plus 16 is 20, so it's the square root of 20. So the distance between b and c is also the square root of 20. So remember our formula, which I've written in pink there at the start, it's half base times by the height. So it's going to be half times by the square root of 20, times by the square root of 20. So the square root of 20 times by the square root of 20. So basically the, the two square roots there will just cancel and when you get 20, then 20 by a half is just 10. So therefore our answer is 10 units squared. And that's what the question wanted us to show. So that's our answer for part C. Quite long, but once you were able to use the formula for the distance between two points, you shouldn't have had too many issues with that. So now let's move on to the next part of the question, part D. So we have to draw the triangle a dash, B dash, C dash on the coordinate diagram. And we're told that this is the image of ABC under axial symmetry in the X axis. So basically axial symmetry is where you flip something, a flip, you know, obviously in this case, it's the image of ABC uh, over a specific axis. This In this question, it's the X axis. So the uh, X values will stay the same, but the Y values will change. So basically uh, the Y value will just be the negative of whatever it is you know, above the x-axis and all points will be above the x-axis at the start and we're flipping them under axial symmetry so that they'll be below the x-axis and hence the y values will be negative. But the x values will always stay the same. So let's go up now to our uh, diagram and uh, draw it in. So the first one we'll do is a. So as I said, the four will stay the same. However, two will go to minus two. So that's a dash. The next one is going to be b. So eight will stay the same and zero. You can change zero to minus zero. Zero is just zero. So B dash is the same as B. The final point then is C. So C is 10, 4, but C dash will be 10 minus 4. So now we just have to draw in this triangle. So there we have our triangle at A dash, B dash, C dash under axial symmetry in the X axis. So uh, of course, if you're asked about the Y axis, just make sure you're flipping it over. So uh, past the Y axis rather than past the X axis as we've done here. So in that case, if it was the Y axis, 
the y values would stay the same, but the x values would just flip over to the negative value, or if it was already negative, it would go to the positive value. So that's our answer then for part D of the question. Now let's have a look at part E. So part E asks, which of the points A, B, or C is in the intersection of the two triangles A, B, C, and A dash, B dash, C dash? So let's go up and have a look. So the point of intersection, basically where both the triangles meet, and we can see they both meet at B or B dash. So therefore, the point of intersection will be B. So it's B or B dash, but we're asked which of the points A, B, or C, and of those three, it's B. So there's our answer for E. Now let's have a look at the final part of the question, uh, part F. So we're told the point PS lies inside the triangle ABC and we want to use this fact to write down the coordinates of the point that has to be inside the triangle A dash B dash C dash. Now we have to give our answers in terms of P and S. So that means P and S must be in our answer. Now do you remember I said in part D that the X value will always stay the same and the X value here is still P. So that means that P won't change. So the P is still going to be P as the X value won't change. So that's an X coordinate in terms of P that is in the the triangle A dash, B dash, C dash. Now we are told, remember that the point PS is inside the triangle ABC, which means that we can't say that P must be inside the triangle A dash, B dash, C dash. Now the S is the Y value, and the Y value will go from positive in the triangle ABC, as all Y values are positive in ABC, uh, and it will go to negative in the triangle A dash, B dash, C dash, as all Y values are now negative in the triangle A dash, B dash, C dash. So then we can say that in terms of P and S, the coordinate is at uh, the Y coordinate is minus S. So there we have our answer P minus S. So that's a coordinate uh, in terms of P and S that must be inside the triangle A dash, B dash, C dash. So that's uh, the final part of the question and the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching and I hope I helped.